No, no, Kirk Ronan's already too full for that. Oh, where can this go? I might not have another chance like this. Ah! I need to clear my head. Arthur Duck, please. Right away, sir. Thank you, Doc. Aha! That's it! I wonder what we're doing here. We have a lot to do. Yes, this isn't very great, Weston. Right, settle down everyone. I have an announcement. We will be building a branch line from here to Harwick. Beg pardon, sir, but the four of us are already very busy. We can't just run another branch line. Oh, you won't be running the branch, duck. Yes, you will all be helping out from time to time. But I've made other arrangements. Afternoon, Ryan. I have something to tell you. Yes, sir? We are building an extension to Harwick, and I need you to be the goods engine. Should give you a nice change from shunting for all these years. So, a promotion, sir? Yes, please. Excellent. You'll only be here for a few months, so get ready to say goodbye. I get a goodbye, sir. I'll be glad. I hope Daisy is just as willing. The ocean! I can't work next to the ocean. The water would ruin my style. No, I won't go. Oh, come on, Daisy. Just try it. Psst, Percy. Psst, Percy. What's up, Toby? Clint wants Daisy to run the new branch line. Now's our chance. Our chance to... Uh, oh, <laughs> you are clever, Toby. Oh, looky you, Daisy. And why is that? You get a branch line all to yourself. You'll no longer be on Thomas's branch line. You'd be on Daisy's branch line. Yes, it would be Daisy's branch line. Can I be transferred there, sir? I never liked this branch line or anyone on it. One to myself would be nice. Well, uh, uh sure. You can start by uh, helping the workmen get Fred and Tidmouth to the construction site. Do you two know where Stanley is? He's helping Ivor with shunting at Farquhar. Right. Well, when you see him, could you please tell him that I'm reallocating him to Tidmouth to replace Ryan? Where's Ryan going? To the new branch line. We'll need an engine to replace him, and Stanley doesn't get to work as often here due to the line being mostly single track. What about Philip? Has he recovered yet? Despite it being six years since the incident, I have to report not yet. 
which is why I'm moving him to Wellsworth to receive counselling from Edward. The incident has vastly affected his work, and I believe it's taking more of a toll on him as time goes on. Edward has a degree in psychology, and he might be able to cure Philip with time. Wait, Edward has a degree? Engines can get those? Hello there, little tank engine. Move out of my sight, please, there's a good fella. Excuse me? This is my future branch line. Get out of my way. Your branch line? This is going to be Daisy's branch line. Ah, Daisy, I see you found your way to Ryan's branch line. R R Ryan's branch line? But, but, but you promised this would be Daisy's branch line. You, you, you promised. <laughs> <laughs> I never promised anything. Toby and Percy claimed it would be named Daisy's branch line, not me. They probably did it to get rid of you, and honestly, with your attitude, I can't blame them. I want to go back to the Farquhar branch. I won't stand for this nonsense. Too bad, you already accepted, and I can't change the new schedule. My printer broke yesterday and I can't get a new one until Friday. Then I refuse to work. Remember what happened with the milk tanker? Yes, sir. That's settled then. Off you two go now. I have some other things to deal with. I know things can get hard, Philip. Trust me. I've experienced it hundreds of times firsthand. I've watched Tidmouth fall before. I've seen horrifying accidents. And I've seen my friends die. But trust me, things will get better. And I can help you make that happen. Over the next few months, I hope my sessions with you will help bring things back to some level of normality. 
Now these thoughts won't entirely go away, they never really do. But I promise, Philip, you will be able to go about your day and think about the positives once more. Here concludes our first session. I wish you good night. Thank you, everyone! Today is a very important day for the North Western Railway. The late Sir Jason Roberts always wanted to extend the NWR line down here, but never got the chance. Today, on the 11th of November 2015, I am honoured to be here to officially open the Harwick Extension, which will be run by our DMU Daisy and our number 20, Ryan. Services will begin this afternoon. I'm looking forward to working with you, Daisy. <laughs> Good luck with your first services, you two. I would come for the ride, but unfortunately I have other matters to attend to. No problem, sir. Have a good afternoon. Hello, Zane. Are you well? Yes, quite. Can I get you anything? Tea? Coffee? Water? Water will do, thanks. Oh, of course. So, Zane, what have you discovered? This water is delicious! Is it mineral or something? Glacier, actually. Susan insists on getting glacier water because she thinks regular water makes her fat. What? That's besides the point. I was referring to our investigation regarding Matthew. Oh, um, yes, Matthew. Well, uh, well, I found this book. It says a bit about the town's history. It also has a map, but no coordinates to tell the area the map is showing. And apparently there is very, very strange activity within the valley. Uh, lo look, look at this. Uh, flying boats before 1912. Talking animals. Moving and rearranging streets? Uh, they, they sound like insane wives' tales to me. They're true. W what Look. Where did you find these? H how did you find these? Well, I'll tell you. I started off right after we parted ways last. I had thought that, if there's such seclusion around Valesbridge, and literally no citizens that know anything about it, maybe it was by design. Maybe the government has something to do with it. So, to find out for sure, I made my way to the government building. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Who may I help you today? I'm here for information on a town called Valesbridge in the Balahul region. I'm sorry, sir, but... I am unfamiliar with any town by that name in this area of the United Kingdom. Would you like me to get one of my superiors to come and assist you? Yes, please, sir. Get me the highest ranking official you've got here. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. I heard you wish to speak with a higher ranking official. I'm at your service. How may I assist you? I am looking for any and all information on a town called Valesbridge. Can you help me? Vale, how did you- uh, that's classified information. Sir, you need to leave now. Wait, what? Why? Oh, alright. Yes, sir. Uh, but I knew he knew something, and that that something had to be on paper in the back. So there was no way on soda or I was just going to stroll out empty-handed. So, I pretended to leave the building, but when no one was looking, I ducked behind a large roof support, then I played games on my phone until it was night, so I could sneak in. Then, I did. Okay, the back rooms. Ouch! What the? Let's go. God, um... Oh, thank God. The one time I carried change.
Oh no, not a code! Welp, here goes nothing! Oh, thank you, history class. Now then, Bell's Bridge. Aha! Got it! Wait. Uh-oh, that's my cue to leave. Then I ran out of the building so fast, nobody even saw me. When I returned to my house, I checked the files, and they led back to a young politician named Thomas Lee. So I used the People Finder website to find his place of residence. When I found it, I then looked for the nearest government file storage facility. I then broke in, and since no one was there, I took the time to photocopy these. These files were finalized by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth herself, so I knew they must be very important. Looking through them led me to an old science facility guarded by tons of soldiers. I managed to slip by them without being detected. How did you manage that? Well, there were soldiers patrolling the main entrance, and it's a pretty hefty facility, so I tried around the back. And lo and behold, there was a small entrance inside what seemed to be a landslide. After I climbed through, I was met with scattered diesel engine parts. They were everywhere. I decided to ignore them because I heard a voice. I darted past the undeveloped cave and into a more sciencey looking hallway. After looking around for quite a while, I found a room with some kind of energy scanner. The scanner monitor was huge. It took up nearly the whole wall, but it was completely busted. Now. What I found in the filing cabinet next to the keyboard operation station thingy is much more intriguing. I found the files and papers that I showed you earlier. Those files contain precise coordinates of Valesbridge, and also stats and readings that indicate a literal hole in the fabric of the universe. This is why Valesbridge has been gone for so long. The people simply didn't know there were towns popping up around them, and so they stayed hidden. Those scientists at the Locomotive Recreation Facility used that monitor to look around the UK for any unknown sources that could help them in their research. And they found Valesbridge! They documented it all, and sent it back to the government, who decided to keep Valesbridge a secret, so no power-hungry people could get their hands on it. Michael, we are looking for a steam locomotive from 1853, not some godly source of power hidden from the public eye. Your discovery may be interesting, but we need to keep out of it and stay on track, so to speak. But Zayn, there is a hole in the universe that can wipe us all out. Don't you want to tell the Southern government? I bet they don't even know. Hold on, wait a minute, step back. So you're telling me that our own government knows about Valesbridge, but not the hole in the universe that could tear itself apart? Yes, huh. we need to, because if we don't, reality as we know it could crumble. Right, Th that's it, I'm going home. You can tell the government. I'm going to go look for more legal evidence that Matthew is still out there, alright? But Zane, people could die. I hate to say it, but this is more important than Matthew now. The existence of the world is at stake. Will you join me, friend? Because I won't do this if you're not okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I will. But, but not right now. Like I said, I want a good night's sleep. You can go to the government and tell them what you've discovered, and I'll assist where necessary. After all, Matthew should be in Valesbridge, and that's where we need to go. Good night, Michael. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. And don't worry, we now know Matthew's exact location, and we can save him on the way. Now, I'm gonna go ring the government. Good night. No, to call the government, uh, wherever did I put that phone book? Ah, oh, here it is. Hello, Suttery Government, how can I help you? 
Hi, I'm interested in a town called Valesbridge. Uh, could you please put me through to the governor? Sure, putting you through now. Thank you. Good evening. London Government Storage 5, Otis speaking. Hey Otis, it's Garfield. Could you please do me a favor? Hey, G Field. How's it going? How's Arlene? Yeah, what you need? She's well, thanks. I need you to take a look at your Veilsbridge files for me, please. Yeah, I'll have a look. I'll be right back. If I may ask. Why? I've got a hunch, that's all. So that's what we found, Your Excellency. We think an expedition to find Matthew and contain this universal fracture while we're at it would be a good investment. Besides, if left unchecked, this universal tear could kill hundreds, millions, billions. Yes, I see. I'm willing to fund this expedition under two conditions. One, is to be treated as a government expedition, so we play by my rules. And two, this must stay top secret. If word gets out, I'll make you... disappear. Uh, Juan, what are your rules? And two, what do you mean by disappear? Hey, Gfield, you still there? Yep, what did you find? Jerry and I had a look at the Valesbridge files. Someone's tampered with them. Just as I suspected, our Valesbridge files were tampered with too. Someone broke in a few days ago. Not only did they mess with our files, they attacked two of our guards as well. Thanks for your help, Otis. We should catch up sometime this Christmas. Anytime, Garfield. Yep, see you soon. Chris, phone the police. We've got our man. Simple, really. If you fail on me, I have the right to bury the hatchet with you. And if word gets out, I'll make you disappear from my list of reliable associates. Oh. Oh. Okay. You had me scared for a moment there. <laughs> oh, Michael. Yeah. You should never fear me. You should fear the people closest to you. What? Oh, it's just an old political saying. I'm just joshing with you. Ah, uh, I get it. <laughs> well, you have a deal. You and your business partner can meet me here at the government building on Thursday next week. I'll see you then, Michael. Thanks for getting in touch. Have a lovely evening. Same to you. Good night. Well, the deal is officially in motion. Meaning it's time for us to act, dear brother. Great work, George. You have helped me well since Boom rendered his life all those years ago. Now we have a secure hold on Valesbridge, we can finally take over this little island and destroy everything that ever betrayed our family.